Workers of Ghana National Gas Company continue to express their displeasure about the way the gas industry is being managed by the Energy Minister. In an interview earlier today on Newsweek, the chairman of the senior staff of Ghana Gas, Richmond Alamo, has called for presidential and parliamentary investigation into the management of the nation's gas resources, which encompasses the Gensa deal. For we, we are not against who is who or who is into this. What we are calling for, because we know the sector minister is bent on pushing this deal. Secondly, Gensa currently pays less than 50% of the ordinary price that most of the companies take and pay. And also, with this same thing, they have not paid most of their, their revenues or most of the sales that they've made. And they repatriate over 80% of the money to South Africa. And we are still thinking of giving them a gas plant to build. Whilst we, the ordinary Ghanaians, are suffering, we do not want the financial sector's issue or challenges to extend to the energy sector. Some years back, we had doomsaw situation. But since the inception of Ghana Gas, this doomsaw situation has improved to a larger extent. And we want a cheaper source of payment of electricity and gas prices. Right. We cannot sell our bet right to a private man. So on this note, we are calling for the president to bite the bullet and also call for a presidential and parliamentary investigation into this Zensa deal. So you suspect the minister's hand in pushing for this deal. How so? Well, the minister is the head of our sector and he gives approvals because the minister knows that Gensa holds the nation a lot of money and continually there's several approvals that are given to them to go ahead and uh, build the gas plant. Whether what we are saying is right or not, or the presidential investigation will prove that. We want Ghanaians to benefit from our energy sector. We do not want South Africans to benefit from our energy sector. The Ministry of Energy in a response has responded to these allegations, taking note on the, the usually regards to the overturn of the situation uh, in the release. So the NAPO's approval of Gensa deal Ghana Gas Workers Edge are Kufuado doing rounds and would like to clarify that this matter is being investigated by the Parliament Committee on Mines and Energy. The Ministry is mindful of legal consequences of discussing same in those circumstances, the President of the Republic further referred the matter to the Ministry of Petroleum Commission and the Energy Commission for investigations. A report in this respect has, taken, has been delivered to His Excellency the President. The Minister wishes to state emphatically that neither he nor anyone else acted on behalf of the Ministry has signed any contract with Gensa. The only contracts signed with Gensa on record are the GNGC and GNPC, and this contract between Gensa and GNC GNC predates the minister's tenure at the Ministry of Energy and was signed on behalf of the GNGC by Dr. Ben Asante, its CEO, and the ministry duly informed. The ministry is aware of the briefing of the senior staff association of the GNGC by its CEO, who is misleading them for reasons known to him. At appropriate time, the ministry will come out with all documentations necessary in respect of this matter.